Recently, I was asked if you can have two different polyatomic ions in one compound. And the answer is yes. So when we talk about polyatomic ions, they have a positive or a negative charge. They're made up of two or more atoms, two or more different atoms. So these are some examples of polyatomic ions, and these are really good ones to memorize. They come up all the time. But let's take a look at an even bigger list. So you'll notice most polyatomic ions, they're going to be negative. They'll have a negative charge called anions. Only a few have a positive charge. And really the one that we're going to look at is NH4 plus the ammonium ion. It can bond with any of these negative polyatomic ions. Let's look at an example of that. So we have the ammonium ion NH4 plus, and that can bond with another negative polyatomic ion. How about the nitrate ion NO3 minus? And since we're dealing with ions, we have a positive or a negative charge, this is going to be an ionic compound, and the charges will need to balance. We have one plus and one minus. That balances out. We end up with NH4NO3, ammonium nitrate, a very common compound, and it has two different polyatomic ions. Let's take a look at a little more involved one. So we have ammonium, and then we have phosphate, so ammonium phosphate. But remember, the charges need to balance. So we actually need three of these one plus ammonium ions to balance the phosphate out. To do that, we could put a three here. We need to put parentheses, though. So now we have three times the one plus. That's three plus, three minus. Charges balance out. We have our ionic compound. So in answer to our question, we can have compounds. There'll be ionic compounds with two different polyatomic ions. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.